What's up Clash Bros? What's up Royal Family? It's Marcus or Epic Life Gaming. Supercell announced yesterday that there's going to be tournaments feature added into Clash Royale. So all the big YouTubers like Phonecatch and the Twitch streamers all do these tournaments and they set them up all by themselves by getting people to join their clans and do these tournaments. And I think Supercell saw that and saw how good of an idea that would be to actually add it into the game and they're going to. I wasn't too excited about this feature at first. I was excited but not super excited to make a video on this because everybody else made a video on this but when they announced what today they're going to do with the tournaments I got excited. Let's go back yesterday and see what they said about the tournaments. One reason why they said they wanted to add the tournaments is to keep people playing the game. A lot of people get frustrated at the very beginning because they're getting crushed by these higher level players because these guys want to go down to the lower level arenas and just poop on all the little guys. So they want to give a goal for these newcomers to want to play in order to be able to get into these tournaments because you're obviously going to need to be a higher level player to be able to win one of these tournaments. This was a really cool feature they gave a sneak peek yesterday. The proximity so you're going to be able to play players around your area they gave a picture right here that says big dog tourney in helsinki finland so you're going to be able to play players in your area in the tournaments i think that's a cool idea it gives a little more exclusiveness to the tournaments maybe a little more human vibe to it that you're playing players that live in your area i think that's a cool idea but I didn't get this one, exclusiveness. So I'm going to read this one out to you guys and you guys help explain this to me because I didn't quite understand it. After you've unlocked the feature, the idea that anyone can turn up, play and win a Clash Royale tournament, both online and in person, is the feeling we're looking for. This concept made us reevaluate whether a traditional brackets and elimination system would work. Several internal play tests showed us that requiring people to be online at the exact same times of their matches didn't work as well as we wanted. We decided to go with a closed matchmaking system instead, meaning each tournament has a leaderboard and matchmaking pool of its own. Similarities to the global local leaderboards are beneficial for ease of understanding and it scales really nicely for big tournaments too. This approach felt like the most flexible and best fit for all players to participate at their own pace. Bonus, you won't need to leave your clan to play in a tournament anymore. That's a cool idea that they did, but I really don't understand that the closed matchmaking system for the tournaments. So does that mean that nobody has to be on at the same time and you kind of play at your own pace? I don't understand that kind of because what if the guy that you're trying to play doesn't get on? Does that prevent the whole tournament from proceeding? I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. They did show that the tournament ends in 1 hour and 59 minutes in the pitcher. So I don't know if this is going to be like a 24 hour tournament or maybe just a 2 hour tournament and then if your guy doesn't get on you just go to the next guy or if it's not even going to be a bracket system that you just kind of work your way up to the top and you have to win so many games in a row against the players online i'm not quite sure how it's going to work but i would like your guys's feedback on that so let's fast forward to today creation every tournament is free to join but will cost gems to create starting small and going all the way up to some big numbers we are anticipating varying needs and desires for tournaments, so we wanted to allow for many different sizes to be held. The creation cost becomes a prize pool in the form of tournament chess. The bigger the tournament, the better the prizes. So that means they're adding chess to the game that are not in it already, that are called tournament chess. And this is where it gets really good, and this is why I made this video. Prizes. Following on from inclusiveness in part one, we want there to be lots of winners in every tournament. The prize pool is distributed so at the end of the tournament, almost everyone who is placed in the top half of the tournament leaderboard wins a tournament chest. That's awesome. So half of the people in the tournament will win something. Unsurprisingly, the number one place player gets the biggest chest. Spoiler alert, now pay attention. In the largest tournament, so the biggest one that they'll create, the number one player, the player that wins a tournament, will win a chest containing a whopping 15,000 cards? What? Also, the biggest tournament chests contain a lot of epics and legendaries. So are they saying that it's guaranteed legendary in that chest that you win? I don't know, that's pretty crazy. But 15,000 cards in a chest? That means if a level 7 player wins a tournament, he can possibly upgrade himself to a level 8 from winning just that one chest. 
but that does mean that only a small percentage will actually get the chest because in the biggest tournament maybe 32 or more people will actually get that chest so it's a small percentage of actually winning that chest you only can play in one tournament at a time, but you can leave and join a new tournament at any time, although it'll kill the process of the last tournament you joined. So you can only be in one at a time, but you can quit at any time that you would like. So you need to pay attention right here. However, you cannot join another tournament while opening a tournament chest. This is to give a natural pause between tournaments, prevent burnout, and make sure people still want to go back and play regular battles. So it sounds like this may take quite a few hours I'm thinking maybe 12 maybe even 24 hours to unlock this chest to actually open it like all the other chests and it sounds like you won't be able to gem it because they want you to not keep doing tournaments one after another I'm not sure if they only want you to do one tournament a day or if you're able to do two or three I'm not sure but it sounds like you won't be able to gem the tournament chest you have to wait to join another tournament so this is only version one but I really like the ideas that they came out with especially the prizes that means half the people in every single tournament will win something that is awesome and if you don't win you're more than welcome to go back and start another tournament at any time so if you lose you can quit and go back to another tournament but if you do win in a tournament and you don't get first place you have to wait till you unlock the tournament chest in order to join another one so even if you don't get first place you still have to wait what do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments. Give me your guys' feedback and ideas or what do you think needs to be added to this tournament. Let me know all your guys' ideas. I thought this was pretty cool. 15,000 cards. That's crazy. There will be no Stinky Pinky in this video. So there it is, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Join the Clash Bro family. Hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget, my Clash Bros, to stay beautiful. Make it drop, honey. Uh.